Traditional tumor treatments typically involve radiotherapy, chemotherapy, and surgery. Due to the numerous side effects, patients often experience significant discomfort. Cryoblation, also known as the argon helium knife, involves inserting a cryoprobe into the tumor under ultrasound or CT guidance. The cancerous tissue is rapidly frozen to below minus 160 degrees Celsius, then warmed, causing dehydration and rupture of cancer cells, or damaging small blood vessels, leading to hypoxia and ultimately result in cancer cells' death. After cryotherapy, the necrotic tumor tissue further promotes the body's anti-tumor immunity, and the frozen cancer cells become more sensitive to chemotherapy or radiotherapy. First, based on the characteristics, size, and location of the tumor, the number of cryoprobes and insertion angles are determined. Next, under the guidance of imaging equipment, such as CT, a percutaneous puncture is made directly to the tumor. First, argon cooling is initiated, freezing the affected tissue to between minus 120 degrees Celsius and minus 180 degrees Celsius within 15 seconds. After maintaining this temperature for 15 to 20 minutes, the tumor is frozen into an ice ball and the argon is turned off. Next, helium is activated to rapidly heat the tissue, raising the temperature to between 20 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius for 3 to 5 minutes, causing the hard ice ball to thaw and rupture. This process is repeated for at least 2 cycles to thoroughly eliminate the tumor. The diameter of the cryoprobe is typically small, ranging from 5 to 10 millimeters. The number of needle insertions can be adjusted based on the tumor size, temperature, time, and the size and shape of the ablation area. Argon helium cryotherapy can be monitored in real time using ultrasound or CT, with precise settings and control by a computer. This ensures accurate coverage of the entire tumor and an additional 5 to 10 millimeters of surrounding normal tissue, achieving precise and thorough tumor ablation. Traditional surgery is quite traumatic, demands great physical fitness from the patient, and leads to a poor postoperative prognosis. Cryotherapy is minimally invasive, with shorter procedures and faster recovery times, offering higher safety and fewer side effects for patients. The diameter of the cryoprobe is typically small, ranging from 5 to 10 millimeters. It is less invasive for patients and selectively targets cancer cells without harming healthy tissues with fewer side effects. It is monitored in real time using ultrasound or CT, allowing for direct access to the tumor and more precise targeting of the cancer. It can stimulate the body's anti-tumor immune function, helping to eliminate any unfrozen or metastatic tumors. Frozen cancer cells become more sensitive to chemotherapy or radiotherapy, enhancing the effectiveness of these treatments. Cryotherapy is widely utilized in the treatment of various solid tumors, such as liver cancer, lung cancer, kidney cancer, ovarian cancer, and laryngeal cancer. Uterine tumors, pancreatic cancer, and breast cancer, osteosarcoma, along with other benign and malignant tumors. This technique is particularly effective for cancer patients who are unable to undergo surgical resection as well as those with advanced stage cancer. It can effectively alleviate pain and extend survival time. St. Stanford Modern Cancer Hospital Guangzhou is a specialized institution focused on cancer treatment, supervised by the Chinese Ministry of Health and accredited by the American GCI. It offers 18 internationally advanced, minimally invasive cancer treatment technologies and a professional MDT medical team, bringing new hope to many cancer patients. St. Stanford Modern Cancer Hospital Guangzhou adheres to the service principle of patient-centered, providing high-quality medical services and working hand-in-hand -hand with all cancer patients in their fight against cancer.